welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. That's a heck of an introduction, so we're going to work on flying on that ship out there. So uh, let's give this a shot. Okay, we got 16 GPSs, and so let's put this bird up in the air. So I'm going to do a launch, and yes. And uh, we got it up in the air. Everything looks like it's doing good. We can see the ship out there. Let's uh, start video recording. We got video recording going. Let's take it up. And let's take it out. Yeah, we're taking it up and out. We're going to see if we can't get some images of this ship on this beautiful morning well sort of beautiful morning it's actually supposed to rain we got it we got her up there and let's uh kind of move it around yes i know i'm in classy airspace but i'm good to 700 feet we've cheated. so we are now up there and check this out folks look at that imagery Let's kind of take it out a little bit further. We got uh, quite a bit of time. We're doing pretty good. I'm taking it out there. Uh, we're up about 125 feet, which is cool. Just look at that imagery with the sun breaking through those clouds and that ship. And I mean, you can't beat that for a early Saturday morning, folks. And we're out there a ways with this little guy. So it sounds like another one is actually coming up uh, lake. So we might get a couple of flights uh, in here. So that's a good thing. The lake is really still this morning. I haven't seen it this still in a long time. Notice how the sun is breaking out over, over the lake. We're out here pretty early in the morning, so just uh, about a half hour after actually technically sunrise. Now that's interesting. See, when they come up the lake, they signal their horns. Um, so, and we're out there. I'm going to yaw this guy back around a little bit. I'm going to try taking him out there a little bit further. I'm getting a little bit braver with this. So, um, as the uh, ship gets out there. We're out there a little bit with this little guy. I tell you what, I'm super impressed with this spark. You know, I've read, you know, several things on the internet and YouTube and people kind of bashing this little guy. But I tell you, I am super stoked with it. The only thing is, is I wish I could get a little bit more um, battery life out of it. Look at the, uh, look at that sky. I'm going to, I'm going to yaw it back. Look at that tear in the sky. That is just phenomenal. I hope it's coming out on video as beautiful as it is on uh, tape. And I just want to make sure I'm recording this. And just checking the beach. we got a couple of people way down there. Um, we got some kayakers out there, so we should be all good. I can still see it. it has, it's actually out there almost a thousand, well, about 700 feet. And let's... Uh, so that's actually pretty good. The ship is now... It's... Uh, Getting out there. Let's see if we can take this out to about a thousand feet. That's probably about as far as I've I've ever had this little guy out. And we'll see what happens. So we got very good uh, signal. Everything seems to be working. Um, not really doing screen recording this morning on this flight anyway because. Uh, uh, again, I just kind of want to capture the imagery of, of the morning. And, and share it with you guys, because this is just a beautiful view. So I'm out about 1,000 feet. I'm up about 125. Let's take it up to about 150. Go up a little bit higher. Take it up to about 200 feet. As this uh, ship sails away, I can't quite say I can't quite say into the sunset. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, I'm just kind of looking. Uh, according to this, my battery is still looking pretty good. So let's uh, 
Let's go out back around and take a look. Oh, here's the other ship coming. We might get a twofer out of this one. The battery's still uh, holding a little bit good. I'm going to have to probably have to ret initiate a return to home in about two minutes or so because I'm still quite a ways out there. But we see this other ship coming up the lake. And uh, that's looking pretty good. So I got about five minutes into this video. And just, just a beautiful morning. That kind of tear in the sky is kind of closing up a little bit. That was really, that was, that was epic this morning. There you go. See, there's that tear in the sky. I can kind of see the ship coming up now. Let's, uh, let's turn it back around this way. And... down a little bit because I'm going to start bringing this back towards me if you will so I'm just going to gradually bring it down and uh, because I might try flying on this ship again with another battery and do another video on this one not sure I'm going to have time to get it because we're we're clicking down pretty fast here and I'm still out that thousand feet so I want to get down to about 125 feet see this is where just having a couple more minutes of, of battery life would be really really the cat's meow here because I'm down to about five minutes four and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate return to home because this is going to be this is going to be kind of slow in the making, and I want to be careful because I'm still out there a ways. And I don't seem to be coming home, so let's return to home and land. So let's activate that. I'm starting to get still got feed, but I'm not decrementing down the numbers. I think I'm going to have to Why is return to home not working? Well, I'm going to Sort of manually bring this back because for some reason she's not wanting to return to home. But uh, now, see, I got a low battery warning, and this is going to end up to be like a little bit like a never mind your own story. Will it make it back in time? Because I'm under 30%. And under 30%, it drops pretty darn fast. So it should be coming back in about now. I'm within about 500 feet, so I'm feeling a little bit better. And I'm down to about 100 feet. Because there I am on the beach. You can see the ship out there. And I'm targeting myself. Still bringing it down. And Norbert, I do have a picnic table this morning. Somebody was kind enough to move one out here for me. I can definitely hear it, so that's a good sign. I'm down to 20%. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, I wanted to go home. 
So it's going to rise back up a little bit to go to safe height. But uh, let's see, hopefully it's going to return back over this way. I've got about 16%, so it better hurry up and get over some land pretty quick. Because it's dropping fast. That's down to 15% now. And we have it up there. And we have it at about three feet. She's starting to come down. I'm going to save the video. She's coming down. You can see it up there. Ship's still out there. Now let's see if we can get her on the table. Ah, not bad. All right. So we got another great flight of the Spark over Lake Huron. We got some beautiful ships up there, one coming. We're going to try to get another one. So, hey, you know the routine. Hit the subscribe button. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you had for lunch. Cheers.